Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we have our team of the week number four predictions for you guys. Today we are going to start off with 86 rated left mid Yannick Ferreira Carrasco from the Belgian national team. Before I just wanted to say uh, that, of course, we have international informs because of the international break that has been happening or has happened over the last week and is still going to happen uh, during this week and club football will return this weekend of course ow uh but we have yannick carrasco probably gonna get an inform 86 rated his 85 uh rating is his base rating but um they played against bosnia it ended four to three in belgium's favor i think there were three goals in the last 10 minutes or something like that crazy um but carrasco was involved in three of the total seven goals of course but four goals for belgium uh he scored once and assisted two goals so he is surely going to get into this team of the week looking like a great card looking like a great left winger for uh, La Liga of course in the middle between like Ronaldo and uh, who else is in the left wing that's good in La Liga I don't know um, but of course you guys need someone in that left wing spot if you guys have a La Liga team you guys don't really have any players I know Dembele is on the right side so you can have uh, Carrasco on the left wing with his in form it would be a great great investment indeed so 86 rated left mid Carrasco is going to be one of our contenders for our team of the week we only have seven players this time by the way we're not gonna have a full team of the week just because one there's not that many players that are crazy crazy interesting I do the highlights of the team of the week so I don't do every single player uh, that deserves to be in it I know there probably is some players that you're like oh why didn't you put this guy in and the reason for that is because I I don't know I just I, I like showing you guys the interesting players man I don't want to I don't want to bore you guys like I'm boring you guys by talking right now so I'm gonna get into the next player we have 88 rated cam Erickson I know this is 87 rated I'm a little lazy to go back and change it so it's supposed to be 88 rated I might be different for the thumbnail if I do decide to use him for the thumbnail uh, which I probably will so that means it probably is going to say 88 rated but whatever 76 pace, 80 shooting, 90 passing, 86 dribbling is probably what he will get around there. And he looks to be like a great cam for the Premier League. Okay, I have it written right here all in order. So, uh, Denmark did win 1-0 and then they tied 1-1. And he did get both of the goals for Denmark over those two games in uh, their international. It's not friendly. It's a World Cup qualification, I'm pretty sure. So they did take second place in their club and Eriksen did get both of the goals, surely ensuring him a place in the team of the week, putting a great performance for his uh, club, not club, country, of course. But yeah, 88, 88 rated Eriksen looks like to be a great, great player uh, for your Premier League squad. We have the god himself. The guy who is helping Peru change history, the guy who's going to take Peru to the World Cup, probably going to be one of the reasons why Peru ends up going to the World Cup. You guys will see this the day that Peru goes to the World Cup, mostly. I, I hope that happens, because if that happens, I'm going to I'm going to freaking Russia. I'm not kidding, but 81 rated goalkeeper Galese, Galese, whatever you want to call him. His name's Galese, 81 rated goalkeeper for Peru. In my opinion, that's what he will get upgraded to. Maybe 80 rated, maybe just a 76, 75 rated. But I think since he's 74 rated, he's going to get bumped up to an 81. That's what I believe. And I think he's going to have a decent card for the Mexican League. I think he made eight saves. Let me go check it. I'm pretty sure he made eight saves uh, for uh, Peru against Argentina. They did, he did keep a clean shit, of course, at Buenos Aires. Yeah, at La Bobonera, which is a great, great, crazy stadium to play at. But he made a total of eight saves in the draw against Argentina. So that's going to be a decent card, a very, very cheap card. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm like this because I've been drinking G Fuel and I literally just drank this whole thing right here. By the way, Cherry Limeade is freaking amazing, dude. Cherry Limeade is incredible. Not sponsored by G Fuel. G Fuel, you want to sponsor me, bros? Like, that'd be awesome, man. I, I'd really appreciate that. But moving on, we have a 84 rated center midfielder Goretzka for Germany. It looks like a great player. And he's going to be an incredible card. High pace, high defending, high physical, high shooting, high passing, high tripping, high everything. What do you not want in what what else do you want in this player? Does he have four star skills? I'm not too sure, but he's like six foot two. He's medium high, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure, but he looks like a great player. 
Um, but Germany, of course, they still are undefeated. They were they went undefeated in their uh, World Cup qualification games, and they have already qualified for the World Cup. Their 100% record has been kept uh, alive, and they did win 5-1 against Azerbaijan, and he scored two of the goals um, in their 5-1 win, which is great. And Goretzka is looking like a great card to uh, have in your team for the Bundesliga. He's going for 20k, I think, his regular card. It might be a bit inflated because people are in, uh, in, in, in in people are expecting this in form, uh, meaning that his price is going to go up a bit because his uh, gold card is not going to be in packs. Next up, we have Joshua King. This card looks incredible. Only problem is going to be the skill moves and the weak foot, two star weak foot, three star skill moves. I'm not a fan. I'm probably still not going to use them. Dribbling is kind of poor still. Um, but we have 82 rated Joshua King. Probably going to get 82, maybe 81, but I can see him getting 82 because he's 77 rated. Uh, but 92 pace, 80 dribbling, 82 shooting, 72 physical. Looks like a great, great card. Uh, he's a Norwegian player for Bournemouth from the Premier League and he scored uh, two goals and assisted one meaning he was involved in three total goals which is very very good from eight goals in uh, the total score of the game but yeah 82 rated Joshua King looks like a great Premier League player to invest in especially since uh, play player of the month Aguero is coming up invest in him when uh, weekend league rewards do drop on Thursday night that's going to be a great great way uh, to pick him up for very very cheap Next up, we have 92 rated uh, record breaker, Robert Lewandowski. Man, this guy has scored 16 goals. That's incredible. 16 goals in the World Cup qualifiers. For, and that means he is the all-time in history record goal scorer for World Cup qualifiers, which is crazy. But let's be honest, man. It's World Cup qualifiers for Europe. Europe has a bunch of small teams. Let's be completely honest. It's, it's nothing compared to South America. South America's... Without me being biased, because my team's there, it, it's the hardest in the world, and Europe is, it's, I'm not saying, it's, it's definitely easier, it has way smaller teams, um, but uh, Lewandowski still put in a great performance, nothing to take away from him, 16 goals is incredible, it's how much uh, Cristiano scored in that um, Champions League season that they won the decima, I think, or maybe the, uh, the undecima, I don't know. But Lewandowski, 92 rated striker, uh, record breaker is going to be a very nice card and his price is going to be a bit higher because his card color is its pretty freaking cool. And last but not least, we have another cool looking card. We have Mohamed Salah, 94 uh, rated, 94 rated, yeah, I said that, 85 rated uh, right winger. Egyptian, I think he's going to get a nice upgrade. He's going to get a hero card because Egypt are going to the World Cup for the first time since 1990, meaning it has been 27 years since they have gone to the World Cup, which is crazy. But there's another team that's going to qualify for the World Cup, Peru, and they haven't gone in 36 years, so... Uh, yeah, I think it's 36. I'm not too sure, but Mohamed Salah uh, did score the winning penalty. They played against Congo. They were tied 1-1. It was a penalty in like the 94th minute. The nerves on that guy, the weight on that guy's shoulders must have been crazy because he had the whole the whole nation watching him, hoping he would score, and he put it. He put in the penalty, he converted it, and sent them to the World Cup. Mohamed Salah, a true hero, and is definitely. Definitely going to deserve getting a hero card in uh, FIFA 18 Team of the Week number four. This, guys, will be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to go drink my G file. I'm going to go do some homework. And, yeah, I'm just going to go chill. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you guys next time. I'm going to have this day, and I'm out.